Hi, it's Vanessa here with Rio Max, and today I'm going to answer a question that we get a lot. And that question is, what is a chelated or crystal mineral? And how is it different than a sulfate or oxide bound mineral? It sounds pretty scientific, but here's the gist. So a crystal or chelated mineral is um, what we would call a protected mineral. It falls underneath an umbrella that uh, consists of chelates, uh, crystal minerals. Um, there's there's many different kinds of these protected minerals, and, and those are just a couple of them. Now, sulfate and oxide bound minerals are what I would call unprotected minerals. So they've been used in the industry for a very long time. They're very cost effective for the plants to make them or include them into your mineral supplement, and they're cost effective for the rancher to buy as well. Um, what what I what I see. Um, between these two minerals being the biggest difference is the results that they give you. And the results that they give you actually depends on the availability of the minerals. The unprotected minerals, the sulfates and oxides, they have a very low availability or a lower success rate of getting to the site of absorption in the digestive system. And that would be the small intestine. They need to get into the bloodstream. Uh, things like copper sulfate, zinc oxide, um, you know, different forms of selenium, they need to get into the bloodstream to, to get where they need to go to do their job. And their success rate of doing that is so much lower because of the low availability. The crystal and chelated minerals, on the other hand, have a higher availability or a higher success rate because they are protected. Um, so to give you kind of a, an idea of what this looks like or how they're different, let's use copper sulfate as an example. If this is my copper molecule, um, and, and it's copper sulfate, so it's an unprotected mineral. It's going to get ingested by the cattle um, and they're going to send it down the digestion, the digestion tract. And it's gonna travel through the rumen. It's gonna do its thing there, but the end game is to get to that small intestine. And while it's in the rumen, it can get antagonized. It can get um, bound up by other, um, other things in there. Um, things like molybdenum um, can tie up this mineral so that when it gets to the small intestine, um, it actually um, can't be absorbed. It's too large at that point to be absorbed into the bloodstream. So what you end up with is this tied up copper mineral that never did anything for the cow and ended up out on the ground. And it, now it's sitting there in your, in your manure and it's not doing that a benefit either because um, copper sulfate is actually detrimental to the good bugs in the rumen and in the soil. So it's kind of a twofold problem. Um, this mineral could be good for uh, if just a, a low quality, if you're looking to, to just meet the requirements, put a mineral out there to kind of make you feel good, but it's probably not gonna do a whole lot results wise. Crystal and chelated minerals are, um, because they are protected, they're gonna look more like um, a celebrity. Picture a celebrity traveling through a crowd, trying to get from point A to point B. And to get there, to get there safely, and to get there without getting tied up in the crowd, they need a team of bodyguards. So now take your copper mineral, say it's a copper proteinate. Your copper proteinate, which is a form of a chelated mineral, it's gonna have the copper with a protective coating around it. So now as it's traveling through the rumen, um, if things try to bind to it, they can't because it's it's already bound. Um, it's it's that much more prepared to uh, get through that harsh environment of the rumen, get to the small intestine where it can be absorbed. So that's the difference between a chelated and crystal mineral and a sulfate or oxide bound mineral. What that means um, results wise is using a higher, um, a high, more highly available mineral is going to help help your cattle breed back better. It's gonna help their feed conversion. It's gonna help the overall herd health. Um, it's gonna help those little calves get off to a better start because they are meeting their nutritional requirements day after day after day. Um, with your sulfate or oxide bound minerals, there's just less of a chance. When you're out buying a mineral or looking for a mineral to buy, you're gonna notice the sulfate or oxide bound minerals will be cheaper than the chelated or crystal minerals. But again, it's all about that return on investment and what you're looking to get out of it. If you're looking for a mineral to, to feed just to feed it and to make you feel good, I'd go with this end. If you're looking for something that's really gonna move that needle 
and uh, get you the results you're looking for, I'd go with 100% protected uh, crystal or chelated mineral blend. Uh, there, are, there are some products that are middle of the line. They maybe use some of each. Now, I don't think this is necessarily a bad thing, but again, your results that you might be getting over here are just gonna be weakened and, and not as intense. Um, and sometimes by using a sulfate or oxide bound mineral with a crystal or chelated mineral can just cancel out the results altogether. So now you're paying more money for something that's supposed to be higher quality uh, and it's probably not really doing a whole a whole lot else in terms of results. So um, I would recommend using a chelated or crystal mineral, a protected mineral, if you're really looking to move that needle. I hope this answers your question. Feel free to give us a call. Our customer care team is here to help you and uh, we want to see you get the results you're looking for. Thank you.